What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with yet again another perfume experience and for today I have for you none other than Abdul Samad Al Qureshi or Al Qureshi Blend 800 which is the swipeable oils that are meant to uh, emulate perfumes but in swipe format so it is still oud based but it's more of a perfumey oud and uh, as per usual on this channel what I will be doing is I'll be walking you guys through the notes off of the website as well as going through a perfume experience with you guys but before we get started and as per tradition on this channel make sure that you grab your favorite snack your favorite bevy or cafe like in my case sit back relax and enjoy the awesomeness coming your way now before we get started i want to emphasize that i got this from the asq canada website so if it does look different packaging wise or it might be different name wise in your region uh just be cognizant of that because what i found out about after some of the course is that uh, they package differently for each country the pricing also is very very different it's actually way cheaper to buy these from saudi arabia or dubai or qatar or any of the middle eastern countries and it's even cheaper in europe but once you come to north america for whatever they jack the price up by almost two-thirds and now that i know that i'm not doing the mistake again of buying it off of the canada or the american website I'll just either order it somewhere in the Middle East and have someone bring it, or if I'm traveling for work and I cross the region, I'll buy it there. So just something to be cognizant about because I was shocked at how much of a difference there is in pricing, uh, as well as apparently the, the way the formulas are made are also different for each market. So just be careful with that because there is, is, there is inconsistencies in the pricing naming formulation as well as even believe it or not packaging so just something to be mindful of okay now with that said let's walk you guys through the notes so the other some of the Qureshi website is very very uh thin in terms of musing in terms of really anything that gives you background except for notes and even some of their notes are very ambiguous uh, which i'll point out right now they don't really give you a sense of what's in it now if i had to take a guess they're doing that to protect their proprietary blends but i mean it's it's 2023 we're coming up on 2024 there's so many perfumers out there and that use oud and other natural oils and a lot of the formulations are more or less the same i'm not sure why at this age we're they're still being overly protective over something that's already mass produced and well spread out everywhere i digress uh we'll get into it so they have a small description actually two lines for you guys you're all very lucky the strongest so this is the al Qureshi blend 800 the strongest concentration of ASQ blends, an aromatic oil blend made of a mixture of Calcasi Oud, Royal Amber, Bergamot, and Musk. The top notes, you have fresh. <laughs> Literally, they use just the word fresh. What does that even mean? Okay, as in no fresh. Okay, it is just anyways. Uh, clary Sage, Citrus, Bergamot, and Herbal. So that's a note, Herbal, okay, or Herbal. Uh, middle notes, spicy, <laughs> floral apple, and woody. So floral apple and woody, okay? So again, you have those uh, fresh, herbal, spicy, woody notes, but doesn't really specify what the ingredients is. And for the base note, you have musk, you have calcasi agarwood oil, and royal amber. Okay, so we've got... A very traditional 
Middle Eastern scent, more or less, wood heavy, musk heavy, resin heavy, okay? And some random, very generic descriptive notes in there. So what does this smell like? It's heavenly, regal are a few ways I can describe it. Uh, first of all, let me emphasize the color for you guys. Do you see that? Do you see this orange liquid? It's stunning. And it's not very thick compared to, let's say, the Calcasi Oud that I have straight up. But it is up there. For a perfumed Oud, it is up there thickness-wise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a swipe for you guys so you get to see what this gorgeousness looks like. All right. So first of all, let me show you what this fat swipeable dab looks like. Now, look at how thick this is, you guys. I hope the camera is capturing it. But this is so thick for a perfume. And look at the oil. It's just that was one fat swipe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't even try a lot. But it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit in there. And it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely greasy. It is, it does have a slight ambery yellowish hue to it. Should so just be careful with applying this to any white clothing you have on. Uh, but otherwise, I don't think it's much of a problem in terms of application it is uh, it does not get absorbed very quickly which for my skin that is really good because my skin eats up scents so this for me in terms of just application so far is a banger okay now let's let it air for a bit and then take a big fat waft Yeah. Oh, man. God damn. This, this, c'est très magnifique. Wow. Yeah, this is, this is nice, you guys. It's very clean, regal, sophisticated, elegant. It's just beautiful, beautiful, you guys. <laughs> wow. And I'm gonna emphasize this now. You do not get a single touch of that uh, fecal blue cheese, barnyard, uh, Indian oud facets at all. Zero. It is so well blended that you get this nice, incensey, smoky, quality of the oud without the fermented facet and it's just it's stunning it, it is so true as I describe it it is fresh it is herbal it is spicy it does have floral it does have apple you get the musk you get the oud you get the amber it's the description is on point I just wish I mean the notes are on point I just wish they specified exactly what the ingredients are and if they were synthetic which it is possible that there is synthetics here put the molecules in no worries i mean if it smells good i'm still buying it all right god this is so good wow it's just so classy you guys it smells classy and elegant and refined and Oh man, it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's start talking some data, some facts, some uh, deeds, if you wish. Um, with respect to performance, this is an oil-based scent, you guys, okay? And if you've watched my content long enough, you know that on my skin, particularly, Oils, performance-wise, tend to be low to medium. I'm going to put this at medium just because I do find that with this one, projection, trail, and silage does perform, you know, relatively well. 
compared to other oils with my skin, okay? So in terms of projection, depending on how much you apply, but in my case, if I do about four swipes, the projection is about medium, okay? People can't smell it off, can't smell it off of me. Right now I have one fat swipe on my wrist and I can smell it wafting towards my nose. So if I was to double that, people will be able to smell it as they approach me, right? With respect to trail, again, with this one, I'm gonna leave it at medium. However, if you do apply, like I said, between two to four swipes, you're gonna have a good trail right behind you. And obviously, the uh, warmer your skin is, the better the trail will be. Just because you project, then there's a trail as you pass by that's activated by your body heat, and ta-da, you have a trail. <laughs> All right, with respect to silage, I'm gonna go ahead also and say that silage on this one is a medium. Again, this is relative to other oils, in particular pure oud oils that I have. I find this as a blended oud smells actually much stronger compared to pure oud oils that I have. And even though it's a swipeable, not a sprayable format, it does actually perform pretty well. So you will have a silage, which is basically the scent lingering where you have been long after you've gone. I'm gonna say the silage is medium with this one, again, which is fantastic for a swipeable oil. And uh, yeah, so overall performance, I will give this a medium, all right? With respect to uh, the gender, is this male leaning, female leaning? Is it masculine, feminine, somewhere in the middle? I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is gender neutral. Uh, I, you can definitely put it on as a lady. You can put it on as a man. It does have both masculine and feminine facets to it. So do not shy away from this thinking because it has oud is gonna be masculine. No, you can actually rock it pretty well regardless of your gender. In terms of how you would dress this. I'm gonna say, do yourself a favor, do the oil a favor and dress it formally. But with that said, you can get away also with this as a semi-formal. It will actually perform very well semi-formally and you will be able to pull it off also. So think formally, a three-piece suit with your dress shoes and your nice silk tie or uh, semi-formal you're basically thinking old money sort of uh, style okay where you wear a nice uh, t-shirt that's a mix of a polo and a normal t-shirt with some gabardines on some loafers and just basically understated luxury okay so you can pull it off pull it off with this now with respect to context okay what kind of environment you can wear this in I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is office friendly, so you can definitely wear this as an office being a male or a female. You can also wear this in any formal events, so weddings, going to a fine dining restaurant, going to a charity gala, going to a gallery, anywhere that requires an air of sophistication, this will do. As a matter of fact, you can put this on as you go and buy your half a billion dollar yacht, okay? it will just work fantastically. This is what, you know, silent money smells like. This says I have money, I'm wealthy, without being loud and obnoxious, okay? It has this elegance and understated sophistication to it. So anywhere that requires decorum, anywhere that requires respectability, anywhere that requires class, anywhere that requires um, a certain level of entitlement, if you wish, arising from your family background. Maybe you're royal, maybe you come from old money. Whatever the case may be, this is your sense, okay? Take it when you're grabbing that $500 uh, million dollar yacht, okay? This is your sense to purchase a $500 million dollar yacht. Now, what else can I tell you about this? Let's see. Oh yeah, other, another thing that comes to mind strongly, uh, I travel a lot for my work and I stay at quite a lot of hotels. Some are good, some are bad, some are low to mid-ed, some are luxurious depending on the project budget. 
and for whatever reason this reminds me of the Ritz Carlton in Paris okay so if you're going to stay at the Ritz Carlton in Paris this is your scent okay next time I'm there I'm putting this on as I stay at that hotel all right so with that said you guys would I recommend the Kurashi 800 blend assuming this is how they market it name wise also in your country or region 100% yes, get your nose on it, get your wallet on it, cop it, you will not regret it. This is such a beautifully perfumed Kalkasi Oud oil. If you smelt pure Kalkasi Oud and you found it challenging, you will love it here. You do not get any of the animalic, fecal, fermented, blue cheese, barnyardy notes whatsoever instead you get this nice smoky incensey leathery oud blended in with the fresh notes the herbal notes <laughs> and the other notes in here and it's just such a beautiful way to enjoy an aged indian oud so yes get your nose on it get your wallet on a carpet now if you do find that it is pricey which i don't think this one is this is about hold on a sec i'll tell you yeah, so this is between 75 to 295 Canadian dollars, depending on the total size you get, which is fantastic. So it is a cheap oud, relatively speaking, again, because it is perfumed and blended with other notes. But if you want oud, but you've always found it to be challenging, and you want to enjoy oud in a very nice, classy, slightly playful uh, manner, and you want to get it from one of the oldest houses around that made oud go for this one you will not regret it okay with that said you guys i'm gonna wrap it up here as per usual very much appreciate your time and attention and i'll see you in the next one